Now we talked about the basics of image planes from photogrammetry, but you can also use image planes just with ZBrush. Uh, so we have a concept model here and I've, it's, it stayed concept all the way through. So we have a block out here. We refine the block out. Uh, we went through and broke this thing up and refined the forms. And then we have our final concept quote unquote. And if I turn on the uh, polypane here, you see we got kind of a, you know, concept block out breakup. But when you get, I mean, from back here, it's like, okay, yeah, it looks, you know, pretty detailed. But when you get up in, in here, you're going to see there's a whole lot of questions that need to be answered. So uh, we can use image planes in the in the camera process to help us out in this uh, aspect right here. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, pick a camera view. I can go in here to draw. Uh, you know what, let's just drag the draw uh, menu over here. And we can say, you know, focal length. Let's go ahead and say 85. Um, go ahead and set our camera view. And okay, if we want to draw over this, and again, you can go in here and you can BPR render and get shadows and AO. You can go hit the comma key, go into your render sets and do like stylized pen and ink renders. But honestly, I think this will be fine. So I'm going to go in here to texture, grab shaded dock, go ahead and say export. Let's throw these on their desktop here. I'm going to say Photoshop just to go back and forth a little bit faster. We'll call this front. And then before I move, do anything, I want to make sure I store my camera. And again, we'll call this our front camera. And you know what, let's go to the back here. We'll kind of zoom out a little bit. Again, one more time, we're going to go in here to store camera. We'll call it back, texture, grab shaded, export. We'll call this back. And then we'll hop over here into Photoshop. We're going to open those up, back and front. And now I just need to start concepting what I would want to see. So for instance, I can double click background just to make it a floating layer, add a new layer, drag it underneath, hit X or hit D to go back into my default colors, X to make white the foreground color. Let's say edit fill with my foreground color white. We can take this opacity, drop it down, make a new layer, maybe grab a dark gray, go into my brush and then just start concepting. So now I've got, you know, a pass on the front three quarters. We can go ahead and save this out. And we're going to go, you know, for the back, same deal. Just double click the back uh, background there. Go ahead and add another layer and, uh, you know, D to grab your default colors and then X to switch it to white. Fill that with white and then drop this opacity down. Now on this one, before we start drawing, you can, of course, go in here to uh, vertical symmetry. Let's go ahead and just center that line there. Close enough, go ahead and hit enter. If you don't need to see that line, just go ahead and say uh, hide symmetry and then, you know, go through and go ahead and select a, a dark color here and on top of a new layer and then go ahead and start concepting out, uh, you know, the rest of this back. And now that we're done with this, let's go ahead and hit Control S to save. And I guess we'll close out of Photoshop here. So we're back in ZBrush. So again, uh, just to catch us up, we've gone through here and we've stored a back and a uh, front camera view. We've captured those camera views by going here to Texture, Grab, Dock, and then exporting those. We've gone in and drawn over those. And we can go through here now. So again, we have our camera here. Here's our back camera selected. We're going to go in here to Load Image. We're just going to load up from our desktop here our back camera image we'll go ahead and say load and store and again if we want to turn off our poly paint and then drop our model opacity down you're going to see and we can toggle this on and off we have our drawing and our model in here and if we go to the front it went ahead and loaded the front for us as well so let's go ahead and switch our material out to like skin shader for us so we can see a little bit better and again here's our model here's our drawing over it you can go through here you can you know, move your model around, you can sculpt on your model, whatever you would normally do in ZBrush. And if you do, you know, move your model and you need to go back to your camera view. Again, here's the image plane. Here's my model. 
Here's the model opacity that we can dial up and down. We can snap back to our image view, drop our model opacity down, we can toggle, whatever we wanna do. And of course, if you wanna save your Z file, uh, you don't wanna go up here and save a Z tool, you wanna to go in here to File, Save As, so it saves your cameras and your image plane. So we'll go ahead and save this out, and then next time we open it, uh, everything will be in there where we expect it to be.